be showing you the fastest method to sprout all your gourd seeds using the kitchen tissue method. We'll be showing you how you could get from these seeds to these sprouts, to these seedlings and then to this plant in less than six weeks. Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Assalamu alaikum. So without further ado, dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. It's the 12th of March and it's a beautiful, glorious, sunny day in London today. The temperature is around 15 degrees Celsius. I love March. The temperature is getting warmer and we are less than two weeks away from spring and I'm really looking forward to summer. March is a perfect month to sow all your seeds indoors, your tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, especially your deshi vegetable seeds, your bottle gourd, bitter gourd, snake gourd, your deshi kira. Start them now so that your plants will be ready to plant them out into the ground in May. Bottle gourd seeds can take up to 25 days to sprout. Now today I'll be sharing with you a method called the paper towel method. By using this method you could sprout your seed in three days. These are bottle gourd seeds I've started four days ago and mashallah they've sprouted in three days. The method that I'm showing you today really works well with seeds that have a thick husk. The husk is the outer shell of the seed. Today I'll be sowing some bottle gourd seeds, snake gourd seeds and some bitter gourd seeds. They all have thick husks. It's best to soak your seeds in some water for 24 hours with a little bit of Epsom salt if you have. Add half a teaspoon of Epsom salt into a bowl this size and give it a good mix. Now leave this in room temperature for about 24 hours. It's been 24 hours. It's time to remove the seeds from the water. Don't mix the seeds unless you can identify what they are. I know what these seeds are. Seeds have two ends. The root end which goes down and the shoot end which goes up and is also known as the leaf end. Seed comes in different sizes and shapes. I have three seeds in front of me. This is a bottle gourd seed, this is a snake gourd seed and this is a bitter gourd seed. Look at the seeds carefully. One end of the seed is thinner and pointier than the other end. On this one, this side is thinner than this side. Same on this side. This is thinner than the other side. The thinner and the pointier side is the root end and the bigger and the blunt side is the shoot end. Using a nail clipper you want to cut a little bit of the outer coating of the seed from the root end. So this, is the, this side is the root end. So using the nail clipper you want to clip a little bit off. About start with a millimeter to begin with. Now you want to be able to see the white part of the seed inside. So I can't see the white part so I'm going to clip off a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Maybe a half a millimeter now. Not yet. There you go. I can see the seed embryo inside. Be patient with it, take your time. You don't want to cut the seed inside. Right, I can see the, the white part of the seed inside. Fold the kitchen tissue and spread your seed on it. But make sure not to mix the seed. 
um, if you're doing put bottle gourd in one tissue put your uh, snake gourd in one tissue and put your bitter gourd in a different tissue so I'm going to just put the bitter gourd on this one okay now using a water bottle sprayer spray water on it now fold the tissue to bury the seeds fold the tissue Now you want to put enough water so it has plenty of moisture in it. Now put it into a polythene bag. And don't forget to label your seed and put the dates on. For the seed to sprout within three days, you need to provide a consistent temperature above 25 degrees Celsius, between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be placing this on an electric heat mat and that should give a consistent temperature above 25 degrees. Now if you don't have a heat, heat mat, I strongly advise you to invest in one. It doesn't cost much, it costs around 10 to 15 pounds. If you don't have a heat mat, you could place this above uh, your digital skybox or your Virgin Media skybox or in, in, a, in, in a boiler room or by a radiator and hopefully that should give enough warmth for your seeds to germinate fast. Check on it regularly. Don't let the tissue dry out. If the tissue looks dry, spray some water on it. It's been three days. Let's check on it. Wow, mashallah. All my seed has sprouted. Fill your plastic containers with multi-compost and um, push it down so there's no air pockets. So I'm using all-purpose multi-compost and I've added some perlite to it. So make a hole deep enough to put your seed in there and the root end should go down. Using a watering can, don't forget to dampen the soil. Keep the pots in a warm, sunny window sill in your house. Hopefully in about three or four days time, the sprout will break out. And hopefully in two weeks time, you'll have a beautiful looking seedling like this. They look beautiful. Yes, they do, Dad. They look absolutely beautiful and cute. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please, Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos with friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. Stay safe. Asalaamu As Alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening. Asalaamu As Alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one.